James Mel Ennis' wine glass is next, called Falls Sparkling Wine Glass. I'll give my thoughts, impressions, and point scores, so please stay tuned. Please give a like and subscribe to this channel. Now you'll find this glass mainly on Amazon and Walmart and a few other retailers. This wine glass producer is sourcing out to large retailers. And ultimately, I think there's something to this wine glass that is really unsatisfying and unsatisfactory. Now, when I do a wine tasting, I'm tasting from a lot of wine glasses. Now I did calibrate with this wine glass here. This is a Riedel Performance Sparkling Wine Glass. So I find it very, very interesting. You're gonna see right here, I'm gonna post these scorings from Amazon. Now this is for this glass here. It's a 4.7 out of five points. This is 4.6 out of five points. There's something quite disparaging about that because this glass is far superior to this wine glass. Now, if I translate this to 100 point scoring, this is a 92 point score. This is 94 points. This is definitely not a 94 point score. I wanted to give my thoughts on why I think this is not a 94 point score. And I'm going to give this a score that's much lower than that. And so while the pricing is pretty attractive, this is about 45. This is about five dollars. And the old adage is very, very important here. That is, you get what you pay for. And so this is quite superior. Now, to me, when I'm tasting from this, again, it's a point scoring. It's also something when I compare, again, another wine glass. I can compare it against another tulip-shaped wine glass. Now, in Amazon, I did a search, which was tulip sparkling wine glass. This particular silhouette came up. Now, I looked at the entire description. I didn't see the word tulip but it's probably in the metadata. So that's not an accurate characterization. This is not truly a tulip shape. It's more of a flute shaped wine glass. So in terms of performance, this is not really that interesting of a wine glass. So I don't find this uh, particular silhouette to be that sophisticated. I find it to be pretty elemental. It looks better in pictures than it does in person. Uh, this particular surface area is not very large as one compared to say the Riedel Performance Wine Glass. So between the stem and the foot, this is actually pretty flared out. I think it looks really unsophisticated. It does not look good on a table, especially with the service of these wine glasses and a very diminutive foot. When I'm doing the nose on this wine, as well as the palette, this is really not gonna be as splendid as the Riedel Performance Sparkling Wine Glass. I have tasted this against other sparkling wine glasses for the nose and the palette, and this is really unremarkable. In fact, I can hardly smell this wine. So when I tasted this same exact wine in the other wine glasses, this is actually quite inferior and it's really not giving that full characterization of the wine. I want that honest, authentic experience of what that wine truly is giving. And so this wine glass does not do that. So this is something I would never buy again and something I find complete disappointment in. So this is a 70 point out of 100 points. So I do find a 90 point to be at the minimal acceptance standard. And so 70 points is 20 points below that. So this does not help me to find and uncover the beauty of a fine sparkling wine. Again, 70 points out of 100 points. Questions and comments, please list below. And again, I'll put uh, other reviews up here of other wine glasses. I do have a playlist. And so please look at that as well as a Regal Performance wine glass. So thank you for watching. Please give a like, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you back here for more reviews. Santi.